Today we are cooking with bean sprouts. I know not everyone's always thrilled about cooking with bean sprouts, but on this kind of health, diabetes, good eating kick, we're eating a lot of bean sprouts. We grew mung beans in our garden last year and we're definitely upping the amount of mung beans we're growing this year because boy, we are really finding that we like the bean sprouts fresh. There's, they're so different than what you actually get in the grocery store. I would say that I wasn't a huge fan of what you get in the grocery store, but sprouted fresh, these are amazing. And here, let's demonstrate here. Right out of the jar, look at that. They're so good. So today we're gonna change it up because we've been making a whole lot of chow mein minus the uh, noodle part. And today we're gonna make bean sprout salad. So let's get to that. First thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to cook some rabbit meat in a lemon pepper, homemade lemon pepper seasoning because that's gonna be our protein on this salad. So you could certainly enjoy this salad without the meat. Uh, we just kind of enjoy it that way. Uh, we're also actually maybe going to try it in some wraps, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. But first we're going to get our uh, cast iron pan here heated up with a little bit of olive oil. Our rabbit meat is already cooked because that's how we like to do it. We usually slow roast our rabbits and then take all the meat off the bone and split it up into portion size. So that's what we have here and we're just going to put that in, heat it up, and then we're going to sprinkle this lemon pepper seasoning on top. It is so tasty and really really brings something to the salad especially if you're doing like a Caesar salad lemon pepper on your meat mm, very good on a Caesar salad as well so let's get this hot and get going I'll be honest this is probably more meat than we actually need in our salad so we might save some for tomorrow all right so you can hear our meat kind of sizzling away I want that to kind of crisp up a little bit on the edges because that's when it's really tasty so while that is happening we're gonna make our dressing. All right, so we're gonna start with a quarter teaspoon of ginger. You can use fresh and grate it up. We just love these uh, pre-done pastes. They're super fantastic and all they have is a little bit of oil in them. A half teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of soy sauce. Let's hope I can keep it steady. One tablespoon of olive oil and one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar and basically that's it it's super simple oh no I forgot the honey haha <laughs> I forgot the honey oh come on is it gonna come and one tablespoon of honey so that's everything in there we're gonna get it all mixed up and then we're going to start chopping up all of the wonderful veggies for our salad. So our meat is just starting to get nice and kind of browned on the edges. So we're going to put in one tablespoon of our lemon pepper seasoning. And we're going to get that stirred around and into all that meat. We did add a little bit more uh, olive oil because it was sticking to the pan. But that's my own fault. I used a pan that had other stuff cooked in it first. Trying to save on washing up. So the recipe calls for one carrot julienne style cut up. So I'm just kind of cutting some ones that we had left over from uh, snacks earlier today into a little bit smaller kind of pieces. That's my version of julienne style for today. So first thing we're going to do is put our bean sprouts in the bowl. Now the one thing I will say is this recipe does call for two cups of cabbage, preferably a Napa cabbage, and three cups of bean sprouts. I don't have two cups of Napa cabbage but I happen to have like four or five cups of bean sprouts. You can see our one quart jar is exploding. And this was only two tablespoons of mung beans in here to sprout this much. It's crazy. Watch as I start pulling these out. It'll fill like this bowl. Okay, well maybe not fill it, but it's still impressive. All right, so we've got our bean sprouts and our julian style carrots and now i've just got my uh, purple cabbage like i say it would normally be a napa but i don't have that on hand right now so we're going with our purple cabbage we're going to put that in so and then what i'm going to do is put our sauce on top so that it gets a chance to marinate you can see there that honey i probably should have heated it up a little bit more uh it was uh 
it's organic honey so it does kind of solidify over time plus i'm keeping it in the fridge to prevent ants from trying to get it so we're going to let that sit until our meat is done i'm going to cut some green onions to put on top and then it's just peanuts and we're good to go so next we need green onions and this is perfect timing because as you can see my onions are really growing in the cupboard so i guess this counts as a green onion we're going to go with it anyway so i'm going to chop these up we're going to call that one green onion and put it in here and then we'll uh come back scissors are a great tool for this kind of thing and next we need two tablespoons of crushed up peanuts So now we're going to add our meat. I'm not actually going to add all of this. This is a bit more than what I would put in. Like I said, I think it was more meat than we needed to eat. So I'm going to save that for our omelet in the morning. I'm just going to have a little taste test. Mm, so good. So now we're going to try this in a wrap. So before we eat this, the one thing I want to say is like, we added the meat, but you certainly don't have to. This bean salad is kind of meant to be a dish on its own. So I hope you give it a try and let me know in the comments below what you think.